hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i will explain you everything about flexbox in react native so as you can see over here that this is a basic react native app i just created a new react native project by using react native init command and this is the basic layout where i have just added these three view over here right as you can see this red green and blue boxes so i have created these three boxes with this view and within this view i have provided a text which displays the number of the boxes right so if you are coming from a design background then you must have already known about the flex box if you do so then it will be helpful for you and if you are not familiar with web design css3 and all then also you don't need to worry about it i will explain everything what are the properties of flexbox how we can use that to build our ui before starting i just wanted to tell you that if you find this kind of tutorial helpful to you then hit the like button and let me know by commenting down below and subscribe to my channel this will motivate me to create more tutorials like this so without wasting any more time let's get started As you can see that our three views are wrapped with this safe area view and within this safe area view we can provide some flexbox properties so to do that first we need to provide style attribute and within this we can provide the flex reaction properties flex reaction means how the element within this view will be aligned as you can see over here that these three boxes are aligned vertically so they have flex reaction column let me show you so flex direction it is by default column so if i make it column then it will change nothing but if i make it row then if i reload it we can see that all these boxes are aligned horizontally right so that is how flex direction set the child elements so what else we can do with this flex direction we can do row and column and after that also we can do row reverse if i done that then we can say this has been reversed so now it is starting from the right hand side so there is two axes one is main axis alignment and another one is cross axis alignment and these two axis alignments depends upon what we are using if we are using row then the main axis alignment will be left to right and right now as we are using row reverse so that means the main axis alignment is right to left and the cross axis alignment will be the other axis which is top to bottom or bottom to top so for row the cross axis alignment will be bottom to top but for row reverse it will be top to bottom and similarly for column it will be different for column the main axis will be top to bottom and cross axis will be left to right so that is the main axis alignment and cross axis alignment and we can set those things as per our requirement by using this flex properties so this is the row reverse we can make it column reverse as well so if i reload it then we can see that now it is reversed in the column area so it started from 3 so as i explained you right now the main axis alignment for this column reverse is bottom to top and if we use column only then the main axis will be top to bottom right so right now we can see first 1 2 3 and if we do column reverse then we can see 3 2 1 okay so the main axis right now from bottom to top so that's the flex direction by using flex direction we are setting the direction of our child element but right now you may be wondering that on row reverse we have seen that one starts from this right hand side but for the column reverse it is not starting from the bottom but i have explained to you that for this column reverse main axis alignment is from bottom to top but it is not positioned at the bottom currently right that is because we haven't provided the flex property let me show you what do i mean by that now 
if I set flex 1 over here and save it, reload it, then we can see that our elements are positioned at the bottom of the screen, right? So, what is the use of this flex 1? So, to understand it, let me provide a background color over here and I will provide sky blue color. Now, reload it. So, now you can see that this view is stretched all over the screen. That means which space is available for this to occupy right but if i comment out this flex one reload it now you can see that it is taking only the space which is required for its child elements so that's why when we provide the flex reaction to column reverse that time it is showing like this so if we want that our main container contains all the spaces available on the screen then that time we need to provide the flex one value for this wrapper view or container view okay now we can provide justify content we can see that there are several values we can provide for this justify content so first if we provide this center then it will center the child elements right and if we make it flex end so that means it will be at the end of this flex property which means it will be positioned at the top of this screen right because right now we are using the column reverse so now you can see that if we provide column reverse and flex end for the justify content then we can align it like this so over here similarly we have other three for some spaces there are space around space between and space evenly so space between means if we reload it then we can see that these three elements are stretched for all the available space for the column for this main axis alignment but they have left equal spaces between them and if I use space evenly so that means it has left spaces evenly and if I set it to a space around then we can see that it is leaving the same amount of spaces around them that's why we can see the space at the beginning and at the end is smaller than the spaces between them right because this space is half of this space now i again make this to row and by default the justify content is set to flex start okay so that is the default value now we will look into the align items property so over here as well we can define various kind of properties first let me set flex end value for this so as you can see over here that align items flex end set these elements at the bottom so it is working with the cross axis alignment so currently our flex direction is row so our main axis alignment for the row flex direction is left to right and cross axis alignment is top to bottom and the align items property is working on this cross axis alignment so we are setting this value to flex end that's why it is at the bottom right so if we want to make it center then it will be over here and if we want all these three to be middle of the screen then we need to set this justify content to center as well right so that's how it's working so justify content is working for main axis alignment and align item is working for cross axis alignment right so that's how we can set the values now if i make this flex direction to column which is default and align items to stretch which is also default for align items then we can see it like this and let me make this to 
flex start which is default for justify content as well now i will do one thing i will remove the width for this first child element now reload this now we can see that this element is taking all the available space we are aligning our child elements to top to bottom which is flex direction column so it has space available besides it so it has been expanded if we don't provide any width over here right so that's the align item stretch which is default if i comment this then we can see after reloading it stays the same right but if we don't want this then we can change this align items to whatever we want like flex start and reload it so now we can see that it is taking the space only it requires for its child element which is this text element right so that's how it works now let me back it to stretch and as you can see over here that by using align items we can handle the alignment of child elements but if we want one of our element to align differently like suppose i want this to be in the middle of this section so what we need to do so that time we can use align self and i can make it to center so align self will be applicable to the element only not the child of this element so i saved it and reloaded it okay so i have applied it to the red box now i have applied it to the green box now reload it so now you can see that i have successfully aligned this element only to the middle of this section right and after that if we want to give them different height because our flex direction is column so we can provide different height as well so right now i'm commenting out these heights and save it reload it now we can see that they have been squeezed but if i provide another property which is flex and we have seen this before as well but right now it will work little differently not differently similarly but here the scenario is different kind of uh, now i have provided flex one for each of these elements right now if i reload it then we can see that all these three child elements have been occupied all the available spaces present in its main axis alignment right and they have occupied equal heights but if we set this to 2 and reload it then we can see that this element height is twice than these two because we have provided it flex 2 and all other elements to flex 1 value it calculates the space like this it adds all these flex values for the available space so 2 plus 1 plus 1 it's 4 and we have specified flex 2 so that means it has taken 2 fourth of the space available if we provide 3 then the additional value will become 5 so right now it will take 3 fifth of the available space reload it now you can see the difference so that's how it works now let me make this 2 then all the available space right now is 6 and first element is taking 3 sixth of the space which is half of the available space and last element is taking 2 sixth of the space and middle element is taking only 1 so now reload it now we can see the expected output right so that's how we can set the flex properties to child element and right now it is taking the height as we have provided the flex direction to column if we set it to row then then it will take similar amount of width and right now we can comment this width as well so we can see that it has no impact whatsoever because we have flex present over here and our flex direction is row so that's how flex and flex box properties works and i want to show you another thing where you can play around with all of these flexbox properties easily so 
here is the site which is yogalayout.com slash playground over here you can see that this is our root element and over here we have three other elements which is child element of this root element and over here we can see the flex box properties as you can see over here the flex reaction is set to row we can set it to column then you can see that flex reaction has been changed automatically we can set it to reverse we can set it to row reverse so all the things we can do over here for the alignment we can do all the things which we have done in the coding area over here we can do all the things over here to play around and after that we can get the code also we have react native option present over here so we can select that and after that we can have the code and then we can copy paste the code to our project and then we can use it okay so it is very convenient to play around with this flexbox properties and if we need more child node then we can add more child node from this button and if we want to remove any then we can remove it from over here like if i select any node and then we can remove the node right so that's the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new and if you found this tutorial helpful to you then hit the like button let me know by commenting down below and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification icon because i upload react native tutorials regularly and i am also working on providing tutorials on flutter so if you are interested on that as well then also subscribe to my channel and let me know by commenting down below it will motivate me to make more this kind of tutorial so that is it for today guys i will see you later on my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye